this video, I'm going to install my new Kogan uh, black chrome dishwasher. Uh, I've already pulled out the old one, so it's just all ready to go. So just bear with me and I'll, I'll get it out of its box. Okay, got the packing straps off. This tape. As you can imagine, there's going to be a lot of packing gear in it. Ouch. Of it. The top of it. I've decided I'm not going to destroy the box. I'm going to upend it because I thought I'd like to keep the box for my dog. Since he's only a pup. I think he'd enjoy playing with it instead of destroying my furniture. What do you think, Roger? Cool. Okay, so here it is. Looks very nice, very shiny. Thanks, Roger. I can do this on my own. And uh, I got it on a tower on a blanket so that it doesn't scratch the floor while I drag it around there. I think it's got a really nice finish, really shiny. And uh, I'll probably pull that sticker off. So hopefully it'll fit really nicely in the space that the old dishwasher was in. Well, we'll just go and see how it goes. Well, looking at it now, I can see it's going to fit into that space. Uh, I did the measurements before I bought it and I could see that it's probably going to sit out about 30 mil out of the, the gap. Well that's okay, I'm okay with that. And uh, it might make it easier to open the door anyway. So I'll just go around to the back here and you can see that they have all the hoses you need. Uh, I'm seeing two hoses. I haven't worked out what that's all about. I think, oh yeah, clearly one's the water. It looks like a drain hose, but it's a water hose. Water hose and the drain hose. And down there's the power cable. So I'll get the work and put that in. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the cable ties and hold them together carefully. And there's one down here for the power cable. I've got that sorted out. They look nice and long. Make sure we reach no worries and to the power point for the old dishwasher. And uh, we just got the cab tie here. I'll sort that out. Done. All right, and I'll start pushing it in. Now I've noticed something extra on this hose that I've never seen on another dishwasher, and it looks a lot like like a solenoid. And I'm guessing it is a solenoid like a water cut off. Uh, I'm not sure why there's not one inside the dishwasher or maybe this is a double up on that in case the hose breaks or something. But anyway, it's interesting and, I'm, and it's rather big. I'm just hoping it fits through the hole. Uh, I'm sure it will. I'll give it a go. Yep, and as I feared it doesn't fit through the hole. So I've got two options, I can either try and pull it off, which I don't think is a good idea, or maybe just cut the hole a little bit bigger. That's a shame really, but it's not a big deal, it's not a deal breaker. We can sort that out. Alright, now I've got myself a 50mm hole saw, or it's 54mm, I had to dig around for that. Found that, I'm going to cut it from inside the cabinet here because the way I see it, I want the, the jagged bits on the inside where you can't see it. So I'll cut it from here where it make it need a hole. Yeah, it really doesn't have to be that much bigger. Just enough to fit that solenoid in. So I'm just gonna 
Basically start the cut right about here, right where um to so I'm only using what he cut in half a minute wood away. I want to reposition myself a bit. Alright, here we go. It's not a very sharp hole saw. So I'll just turn the camera off a bit and continue with that. Now the pilot hole bit is already gone through the timber. So what I'll do is I'll start from the other side. That way I won't leave a, a bad edge anywhere. So I'll continue with that. Okay, so I've drilled my hole. It's almost double the height that it was before. Now what I found is that it still doesn't quite fit because because the way I drill the hole, there's those edges that stick out there and I've got to take those off, I'll just do that now I'm just going to put my drill on a bit of an edge, an angle I should say there we go, just made a bit of an impression on it looks a bit nasty on this side no, nah, come through alright. That'll be just great. Let's see how it fits now. Bit of luck. And we're there. That's good. So I'll chuck that through. And the other one. Get him in there. Get him on something. Well, at least we got the power cable. I'm trying not to twist them up. Normally, I think you put the power plug through first because it's such a big socket plug top on it. But when I had to make the hole this big, it doesn't really matter anymore. I took them all in, arranged those hoses a bit nicer because they're twisted there slightly. Okay, so it's good to go. I'm just going to do this slowly. I'll slide my dishwasher in a little bit at a time. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to pull these as well so that they don't get bunched up and kinked behind there because it's pretty easy to happen. Get them out a little bit. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. We're just going to help a bit more. Okay, I think we're almost there now, so it's looking good. That's it. Got all my cables and pipes in now, and it sits in there quite nicely. I'll shut that door a bit. Yeah. Looks good. And it's sitting there good. So I'll just turn it off now. Okay, so I got my hoses through now. And the first one I'm gonna put on is the drain hose. Now I have noticed that there's no clamp for the drain hose. It does fit on there pretty securely onto the drain port there. But just for being on the safe side, and there was no clamp, I've got myself a couple of cable ties. So I'm gonna put cable ties around there. Two cable ties, two small cable ties, just because it's probably not likely to happen because it's all low pressure. But if that hose comes off and it runs, it'll pump you know all the sludge water into cabins, which is not nice. So I don't expect that to happen, but just to make sure it doesn't, I'm going to put a couple of cable ties around there. I've got a couple of cable ties here now, and that's that doesn't come off, so that's good. 
Now I'll do the water. Make sure it's still got the seal in there, yeah. It's hard on this one ended. It's hard on this one ended. Okay, I've done this up now hand tight. And which is good enough, I believe. I hope so. But I need to. I'll get a multi boost. But what I've done is I, I turn this sideways, then turn it, then turn that back a bit. Well, I see it's turning out because it's pretty tight. So I'll just make sure it's nice and tight. Feels good right there. Okay. And the last thing I have to do is plug in the power. Just around here. Now just make sure the plug's dry on the floor, it looks alright. It's good. Now I'll plug it in. Now and I'll switch it on. Oh, I heard a beat, that's good. Now from the old dishwasher I did have this device that holds this hose up. But you know it looks all right. I'll leave it like that. It's good. It doesn't. The hose isn't quite long enough to make it to there. But it probably doesn't really need it anyway. Okay, so now I'll check out the dishwasher. Here it is. It's powered up. I have no idea how to start it except there's a power button there. Oh, that looks nice. So it's come up with the time. Uh, well, I'm pretty happy that it's on now, so I'm not going to do anything more with that. I mean, there's instructions for operating it and that, and I'll go through that later. Looks like I'll have clean dishes tonight anyway, that's good. Instead of doing it by hand, I'm getting a bit sick of that. And my old dishwasher, it still worked. But the element was blown on it, and, and I had to put jugs of hot water in there to get it to clean the dishes properly. So I'm looking forward to using this one. It'll be great. Dishwasher installed. I think it's pretty good. I haven't even opened it yet. I haven't looked inside, so let's have a look. I'm sure there's lots of packing gear inside. Yes, there is. There's all that stuff to remove. I'll, I'll pull that out. A bit of a time. Well, there is a lot of packing gear in here, which I guess it needs because of all that we move around and transport. Anyway, it's not the most exciting appliance in the world, but man, without a dishwasher, you know, it's just a Life's just that more difficult, isn't it? I mean, it's great to have one. So I'm looking forward to using it. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.